I'm better than you, and you know it. How's it going, everybody? Chris Card's back. Pro Wrestling Crate, opening time, October 2021 edition. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday. AEW Full Gear tonight. One of their quarterly pay-per-views. They've got a stacked card, 10 matches. Probably see a brand new world champion tonight in the hangar. Adam Page. We're going to bust open this box of 2008 TriStar Impact cards. One autograph per box, and it's pretty good autograph checklist i've opened up a few of these before i've been able to find them for about 20 25 bucks but i haven't bought these in about a year so they've been sitting around for a while and i can't find them anymore the few i have seen on ebay are around the 50 dollars mark so my days of purchasing this box and these cards is over there's some styrofoam packing take note tops that's how you ship cards without getting damaged and here we go let's crack these open see who our autograph is some of these cards are pretty cool. Some of these cards are pretty lame. I will point out which is which in this opening. Right before we get to our pro wrestling crate. Selena's here, the very first card. Making sure I open up this cellophane wrapper without killing the cards. Not that the cards are worth a whole lot, but autographed is always going to be the very last card in the pack. So let's just work our way to it. There's Gail Kim and Awesome Kong. Both are retired. Kong retired several times, but I think she's finally done now. There's Team 3D, Bubba, and Devon. And I do like these cards, especially for... And this is one of the lame cards. The tattoo cards are pretty lame. Booker T. A lot of WWE guys in here. Jeremy Borash, who now works as a producer in WWE. In fact, he pretty much did the Boneyard match. So if you love that match... During WrestleMania 2020, I do believe, you can thank Jeremy Bo uh, JB. He's very good at that kind of stuff and that kind of production. Christian Cage, who was the Impact Champion just recently, lost it. Now he's back in AEW, teaming up with Jurassic Express. Rhino, there we go. Rhino's a good signer. I'll keep that off to the side. And Brother Devon, that card is a little... A little weird. Pretty excited about the AEW cards coming out here. Uh, supposed to be November 15th or November 12th. Got pushed back to December 12th. A lot of the pre-orders are sold out. Uh, the pricing, no one quite knows what the pricing is yet. Uh, it's expensive though. And the hits are few and far between. So I'm not sure how many they're going to print of these cards. Obviously, putting together a base set would be my top priority. I've already got card zero, which is going to be uh, CM Punk. Card one, which is Adam Cole. And card two, which is Brian Danielson. So, those cards are being shipped. That's another lame card. Those lips, lip cards. Eric Young, EY. ODB. Loved her. I thought she was always a pretty awesome performer. There's Mr. James E. Cornette, another good signer. Keep that off to the side as well. There's Hebner. We're getting close to our auto here. Tomko. Uh, and we are going to have the Professor, Mike Tanay. And I think I've already got one of these. So, bummer. No Sting, no Samojo, no, I don't know, Kevin Nash. Someone a little bit more uh, interesting than Mike Tanay, who probably also does TTM. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it, but... There we go, guys. Mike Tanay is our auto out of that little pack. And again, like I said, those uh, cards for AEW will be coming out shortly. And uh, Upper Deck is putting them out if you want to find out more information about that. Check out UpperDeck.com. Like I said, they had the cards. Basically like a Tops Now type card. And I was able to get three of those. I got 40 of each, and they're selling pretty good on eBay, so I should make some money on those. Pretty excited about that purchase. Masks, number four. It looks like we've got a Dark Order shirt in here. we got Evil Uno, I do believe. Love the Dark Order. Who doesn't? And here we are. Let's check out... Oh, yeah, this is, a, this is a perfect Halloween shirt. Too bad it's, like, the second week of November. Here it is, guys, in all its glory, Evil Uno. 
in his shadow. Awesome, super cool. Let's try this on real quick. Join the Dark Order. Alright, felt good. Fit great. Alright, let's move on to our second shirt that we have in our crate. We've got... Danhausen. Very nice. Very evil shirt from Danhausen, who is currently recovering from, like, broken bones in his leg. Cool shirt. Another Halloween-themed type shirt. Another face paint guy. Just goes with the uh, theme of the box, although Evil Uno doesn't really wear face paint. I guess it's masks and face paint. I don't know. I didn't pay too much, too much attention to the card here, but let's find out what the goodies are first, and we'll go back to the card. We've got... Check this out. We've got our pin, which is going to be Gangrel, David Heath. Great guy. Has a wrestling school down in Florida. Married to Luna Vachon, if those guys saw Dark Side of the Ring, or if you guys saw Dark Side of the Ring a, few, yeah, a month ago or so. I'm not sure what these 3D glasses are for. If you guys saw Dark Side of the Ring, he was uh, prominently featured on that because of his uh, relationship with Luna Vachon and Cryptic Closet. Here we go. Looks like Danhausen shirt in here. So a comic book. Maybe they go with the glasses. I guess they do. Was that 3D? Is this supposed to be 3D? Doesn't look 3D to me. Let's dig out some more items here. Put the glasses there on top of the comic book. There's the pin here. We got the 8x10 auto in there. I'm very excited about that. Demolition! Axe and Smash. Nice little decal sticker. Oh boy, Papa Shango face paint. They thought everything is Halloween. Look at this. Will anybody ever use that in a million years? I'd rather have the hat. Like this guy, hat and makeup. Took this at NXT TakeOver Portland. Just uh, reminded me of this photo. Thought I'd throw, I'd throw it up there. Still living. We've got a Shane Helms. A Hurricane Micro Brawler. Really do like the new micro brawler packaging, which I think I've mentioned before, but still stands true. Put them next to the Macho Man micro brawler. And we've got just the 8x10 left. Always exciting, of course. You guys know me, my autographs, my autograph 8x10 wrestling collection. Knows no equal. I think on my very first wrestling crate opening back in, I think it was like. WrestleMania of 2019, maybe 2018. I think it was 2019 I opened it and I showed off my 8x10 collection, which probably deserved its own video, but it went in there anyway. Let's find out who we got going on here, and then we'll check out the masks and face paint card. We've got... Let's make sure this is flipped over the right way. We've got... All right, Darby Allen. Sick. Check this out. Darby Allen, he's got Brian Cage on his skateboard there. That's, that's funny. That's from... Probably about a year ago now, he's now feuding with MJF. In fact, they got a match tonight at the pay-per-view. Should be very interesting. MJF's going to try and beat him with a headlock takeover. DA, unique signature. It looks like a Dean Ambrose signature, actually. Very similar to a Dean Ambrose. There's the Derby skateboard in the trucks I got out of the AEW crate. You guys can check out that video if you haven't already. In fact, I'll link that at the end of this video and there you have it guys pro wrestling crate let's check out the spoilers yes it's masks and face paint part four i think every halloween they do uh, this theme got the evil ono two t-shirt we got the creep housing you know, i guess the creep show type themed uh dan housing t-shirt sugar chain helms micro brawler we've got tales from the dark side comic book pop shango face paint demolition Gangrel lapel pin. Of course, the Darby Allen 8x10 auto. Super cool. These boxes always pack a lot of value. The 8x10. Got the Mike Tanay card in here. Once I get my hands on some AEW trading cards, guys, you guys will see me bust some open. We'll check them out together. In fact, when I get my cards in for Punk, Danielson, and... Cole, Adam Cole, I think I should have them in by next Saturday, so I'll try to do another crate next Saturday. I'll do like a historical crate. I got years worth of crates to open, so I'll open up one of those and I'll check out those cards next week. And as soon as I get those AEW trading cards in, we are going to bust them open and check them out, guys. Uh, looking for pre order information, a lot of the stuff, blowout cards, all the places online that are upper deck authorized retailers are pretty much sold out, and the prices started off. 70 80 100 bucks and now they're up to 150 and now they're basically not available right now so 
I don't think anyone really knows what the price is, including the retailers. They're just guessing. And based on demand, I think they were scaling the pricing. So they will either crash and be cheap or they will continue to go up. But you're not getting hits per box. I mean, there's some pretty cool parallels, I guess, and some cool inserts. But man, if you want an, one auto per box or even a relic, you're going to have to open up multiple boxes just to get an auto. So it's going to be tough, uh, tough to uh, chase anything. Obviously, I think your best bet is to go on eBay and a la carte purchase what you want and then try to put the base set together yourself. So that should be fun. I've been waiting for this set for a long time, ever since I saw them signing the stickers on BTE. And of course, yes, the ultra rare autographed cards are going to be stickers. So that's that's a little not exciting either. So we'll see what Panini does with the WWE license. They dropped, what, 10 million bucks to take that license, which is almost triple what W uh, Tops was paying for that license. So uh, Prism cards are pretty awesome, but then they're going to have 700 parallels to chase after. It should be very interesting. By the way, you guys go check out It Come Up an Egg. Uh, his his channel is linked in the description down below. He pulled a one of one out of a, a wrestling blaster a couple weeks ago. I'll, I'll link that video in the description down below if you guys want some more card opening uh, enjoyment. One of one, super fractor, uh, super cool. The one thing we'll probably miss about the uh, the tops having the license is those super fractors and some of those those amazing hits like that out of a blaster box as well, like a gifted blaster box. That's a hell of a gift. And um, guys, check that out. That's it for uh, this week's Pro Wrestling Crate. That November crate's got to be on its way. Maybe I'll get that in a week or so. And we'll check that out. out. We'll check that out as uh, quickly as possible. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hopefully you guys check out the AEW pay-per-view tonight. we got Survivor Series in a week or so. And, um, yeah, and I'm still working on that NXT Portland TakeOver video. Hopefully I don't have any problems with WWE and their copyright or their licensing issues since half the guys on that show don't even work for them anymore. It shouldn't be a problem, but we'll find out. Eh, that's a labor of love working on that video. It's going to be up one of these days. Hit that subscribe button, guys. I do lots of baseball stuff. I also do lots of wrestling stuff occasionally every now and then. But if you want to stay up to date on these crates, AEW Pro Wrestling Crate every single month. And, of course, the AEW Crate quarterly. And cards, trading cards and whatnot. I got a case of trading cards back here as well. We still need to open. So all sorts of fun stuff we like to do on here. Through the mail, autographs. We got a couple out right now to the WWE Performance Center or the NXT Performance Center. I guess it's WWE Performance Center. We'll see how that goes. If you get any of those back or not, you'll be the first to know. Actually, you'll be the second to know. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.